Hi everybody! I'm back with another 8.5x11 layout. For this one I used the Scraptastic Club Kit. Uh, which is it now? It's the most wonderful time of the year. I used the kit in the add-on. And oh, running out of glue there. Gotta fix up my glue. And I have to say I wasn't too sure about all the black in this kit. But I love it. It offers so much contrast and I think it's a little bit different because I, I have never used like black with my, I don't think I have, with uh, like to make Christmas layouts. And oh man, I'm loving this kit. It's awesome. And all the embellishments you get and everything, oh, it's really well put together. I really like this one. And so... I'm going to scrap this photo of my daughter. We, I asked her if we could go outside with a Santa hat and a little reindeer for her ear, like antlers for her dog. And uh, she happily obliged. So um, I think this is my favorite photo that I got, that I got this year. I, I think it's super awesome. She looks so cute. And so, uh, and uh, chaos is barking away there. So. The shot ends up with her with her little head up and her mouth open and Amber's smiling away. I really like this photo a lot. And so I'm just trying to save part of that doily there. And um, even the doily, the, you get a couple of white ones and a couple of black ones. And um, I, I really like the black doilies because they there's really contrast against the photo, especially this one because there's so much white in this photo. And um, it just kind of grounds everything really nicely. And so the the little uh, word there that says also oh, Mary on the bottom left. Oh, here we go. Okay. So I'm making a little envelope. I thought I would just show what I do here. That's just regular old paper. And I put the tag down and just scored on either side of it so I don't have to measure. It's kind of laziness more than anything else. And then I'm going to use that. Uh, to to hold my tag in behind the photo so it doesn't slip away on me. So I do that often, so I just thought I'd show you guys how I do it. It's really simple, but I just thought maybe a new scrapbooker would like to see how those how the tags are sort of usually held behind photos and stuff because they, they don't, you know, kind of magically sit there. As you look through your album, they'll float around all over your page. So if you have a little something to slip them in, then they'll they'll stay put. So it's just kind of a little envelope for uh, for the tag to hold the tag. And so I'm just going to glue it kind of on either side, like on that that strip of foam, and then the other side, because I want I don't if I glue it flat all the way, I'll lose the bend that I want for my photo. So I'm just going to weigh that down a little bit there. And getting back to that oh so merry on the bottom left. I used some ink and it, it's a white die cut that you get in the kit and I just inked it to uh, match the color of the tag and the wood veneer and so I'm just gonna sort of get my other pieces going a little bit while that's drying and there we go the pocket works so um, I chose some trees to put down in the bottom left because it kind of pulls all the colors of the page, um, like it repeats them again. And I thought the trees were really fitting because they're outside and there's trees all over the place. And um, But more so it was for the color, just to kind of pull the whole page together. And it fills that corner up a little bit, but it's not too distracting. Because it's all about the photo here. And even though I know that black and white background paper, it might look, it looks a little much on the video. <laughs> like it kind of pulls your eyes a bit. But in real life, it um, I'm looking at it now and it, it doesn't because it's more of a black and cream than a black and white. I know it's reading black and white, but it's more black and cream. And so it's it's actually not too pow on the eyes in, in real life. It, it doesn't come across in real life as strongly as it is on the video here. So I just thought I'd mention that. And then 
these snowflakes, these these glitter snowflakes, I really like the, all the the little bit of glitter and shine that's uh, that's in this kit as well. And so that's from I think it's the Pink Paisley Ephemera Pack. I thought I had it out here. Let's see. Yeah, it's the Pink Paisley, the Merry and Bright Ephemera Pack. And there's tons in that pack. I've still got all kinds of stuff to use yet from that pack. And uh, it, it goes with the kit really, really nicely. And so I'm just trying to get my, my stuff glued down here. I'm going to use my zip dry because if I goop too much of it, once it dries, I can, I can rub it off. And it, you're not stuck with a bunch of glue on the page. So I'm just going to get all of my... Um, my little pieces into position here and I'm just I thought I would scatter some snowflakes around the page just to kind of break up that that background paper a little bit and it again it was really fitting because we were outside and the snowflakes the snowflakes go and so that tag there will um I'll be able to do some journaling on the back of it. So that'll work out really well. And then that little die cut says uh, Merry and Bright. And I think that's about it. Oh no, the video's gonna jump around a bit. I paused it so that I could go and get some enamel dots and stuff. But what I ended up doing is using some, some jewels instead. And so this is the only thing that's not in the kit. I, I wanted a little more shine on the layout. Oh, Maggie's come to visit and she's a little bit loud. Mag sit. And so I, uh, that's the only thing that's not from the kit because I wanted a little bit of shine on, a little more shine on the layout. So I put those, dotted those around the page a little bit in the middle of the snowflakes. And I'm just going to uh, fluff up the the paper a little bit and I think I tear it a little bit just to give it a little bit more something something and that's about it I'm gonna pull the page up so you guys can see and thanks to everybody who's watching and who leaves all the awesome comments you guys are super duper thanks again